Welcome inside Montpetit Hall for some women's volleyball action between your U Ottawa Gigi's and the Laval Rouge All on what's turned out to be a chilly Tuesday afternoon here in the nation's capital. The Gigi's at seven and five, riding their hottest start in years, take on the Rouge Or at seven and four. The Gigi's seven and five, four consecutive wins to finish the 2023 calendar year and looking to start the new year off with a bang. They face a familiar foe in the Rouge Or, having played twice already this season, with Laval getting the better of them in both mashups. A 3-0 loss here at home for the Gigi's, followed by a 3-2 loss on the road in Laval. However, it is the Gigi's who may have the upper hand in this matchup. Some big wins towards the end of the 2023 calendar season, including a win over number eight, Sherbrooke. Gigi's have lots to prove in this matchup, and with the RSEC standings looking very cluttered at the top, there's three teams at seven and four, a team at eight and three, and then the Gigi's at seven and five. This match has huge playoff implications. Familiar starting lineup for the Gigi's with Hildebrand, McKay, Mikhail, Leung, Odigi, Langevin, Jones, and Lewis. And a common starting lineup for the Laval Rouge Or with Marie Justine Couture, Marie Noël Tremblay, Roxane Saint Amand, Alexandrine Leroy Audi, Justine Raymond, and Leonie Goupil. It'll be the Rouge Or with the first serve. But first, a little confusion on the GG side already. Lionel Woods discussing with the second official about where the rotation starting. Turns out they had their starter setting in position two because they have the reception. Now some confusion between who's their P1 and P2, which one of their left sides will be starting in the front row, but all that to the side, the GGs have figured out their rotation and match. However, it is the GGs leading by a score of 19 to 12 over the Laval Rouge Or. It's been a great start for the G's so far. Offense has been hitting well, with the, maybe the exception of that point. Little commentator's curse there. But the Gigi's swinging and blocking has been excellent, although with the Rouge Or making a bit of a pushback in the last few points. It's Gigi's head coach, Lionel Woods, calling a timeout. It is the Rouge Or who will be serving here. Number nine, Beatrice Lamarche, subbed in for the middle, Leonie Goupil, to serve, which allows the Rouge Or to maintain a libero in the back row. Gigi's serve receive has been exceptional to start. They've been able to run a lot of their options just like that. Great pass from Lewis, goes to Langevin, out to the left for Mikhail, well dug. Now a right side ball, Justin Raymond, popped up by the Gigi's twice, but unable to get it back over. And that'll be a point for Laval. Number 11, the right side for the Rouge Or, Justin Raymond. It's come alive in the past few points. She made a few hitting errors early on in the set, but with two kills in the Rouge Or's last three points, she's starting to heat up. Now a pipe attack from Odigi. Misses just wide, says the line judge. Gigi's thought it was in. Head ref overrules, calls it in, and that'll be a point to the Gigi's. Rouge Or captain unhappy, goes over to ask the head official, but no dice, we won't change his call, and that'll be a point to the G's. Janae McKay now back on serve for the Gigi's. Flat float serve pushes it deep onto La Marche. Quentin sets outside. Swing there, and there's a kill for the Rouge Ors, number four, Eloise Ross Tremblay. Good, smart shot there, going high off hands, and now it'll be Laval with a double sub. 
number 12, Audrey, Audrey Belanger Griffith, coming into set. And number 15, Micah Bourgeois Daigle, coming in to play right side. So that means out are going Marie Justine Couture and Justine Raymond, two of the starters for the Laval Rouge R, as they looked to mount a comeback here in this first set. Popped up by Mikhail on serve receive. Leung sets over her head. Mikhail forced to give a free ball over. Rouge R out of system. Pipe swing for La Marche. Dug by Lewis. Langevin to the middle for Leung. Great dig by La Marche, but unable to get it back up. Word the Rouge R, and that's a kill for the GGs. Great pass there by Bryn Lewis. Gave Maxime Langevin the setter for the GGs all of her options. She chose to go to the middle in Atlanta Leung. Made no mistake, got the kill. Textbook volleyball there from the GGs. That was number 14, Nicole Hildebrand on serve. Floats one over, popped up by Quentin. Rouge go to the right side. Good dig by Hildebrand. Lewis sets out a system to Mikhail. Her swing goes just long, no block touch, and that'll be a point to Rouge Or. G's trying to turn defense to offense there. Out of system set by Lewis was a good one, but a tough play for the left side coming with that ball over top, trying to swing. And Mikhail puts it a little bit long. Now it's Eloise Ross Tremblay to serve for the Rouge Or. Good pass by Lewis. Again, this time a slide to Leung. Popped up by La Marche. Ball goes outside, rolled in, picked up by Mikhail. Langevin, sea ball to, to Hildebrand. But a net touch by the Rouge Or, despite the dig, it's all for naught. That'll be a point to the GGs, and they down lead by a score of 22 16 in the later stages of this first set. Fully in control of the first and looking to put it away within three points. Grace McHale, the server for the GGs. Hits a float serve, just long. Aiming for position number five, but unable to find it. And Laval are back within five. Now more substitutions for the Rouge Or. It's number 10, Jade Marquis, coming in for Alexandre Leroy Audi for serving. As Léonie Goupil slots back in for Beatrice Lamarche. Smart substitutions by the Rouge Or, having left sides play defense for their middles. Gives them an extra hitting option in the back as well as a solid defensive presence and sometimes maybe even a serving presence as there's an ace from Jade Marquis. Goes off the arms of Grace McHale in the back and out. Following that, as Laval pulls it back to within four. Looks like head coach Lionel Woods of the Ottawa GG is looking to call timeout. No, he made the sign to the official, but then following a short break where Laval had to indicate their captain, he decides, nope, I'm not going to call timeout. Let my players figure it out. It's high ball out to Odigi. What a kill from Audrey Odigi. Out of system set from Grace McHale, and it was a high looping one. And Odigi pounds that down the line right into the chest of Audrey Belanger Griffith, unable to get the dig. The big momentum point for the GGs. Props to Head coach Lionel Woods for letting his players figure it out without calling the timeout. And they reward him for it, pulling that lead back to five. Now a good serve from Leung, long run for Belanger Griffith. Left side ball for saint Amat tipped over, popped up by Odigi. Langevin sets the middle for McKay, forced to tip over. Now a free ball. Langevin, Odigi on the left, she tips it over and what a shot! Just off the fingertips from Odigi, puts it right over the Laval block. And the GGs have themselves a set point. Super difficult shot by ODG there. Managed to just get it over the block, but out of reach of the setter from the back row. And here comes Leung on set point. Quentin sets the right side. Swing from number 15. Micah Bourgeois Daigle on the right side gets her kill. Off the hands of ODG and out. Just not unable to just not able to wrap that left hand around to get the block. And Avalic sends the set by at least one more point. As more substitutions being made by the Rouge Or as Audrey Belanger Griffith checks out. Spin serve from Bourgeois Daigle. Langevin dumps over, popped up. Now another dump attempt, but this time it's shut down by the GGs. Janae McKay gets the block to seal the first set, and the GGs take it by a score of 25-19. We're sorry you were unable to watch the majority of that first set, but trust me, it was a good one. GGs win 25-19, and we'll see you in three minutes for the second.
Welcome back for the second set of action between the Laval Rouge All and your U Ottawa GGs for some women's volleyball action. Tuesday afternoon game, not common in the RSEC. But the GGs of the promotion today where students get in for free. And we've got a pretty full crowd here at Mopetsi Hall as the GGs trying to promote their own teams, promote the sport. And I got to say, I love the idea. Unfortunately, it means that some of us will have to leave. Some of, some of us in attendance might have to leave early for classes or whatnot, but as far as the student experience go, it doesn't get much better than watching some volleyball at home on a Tuesday afternoon. Second set gets underway with a serve from Maxime Najvin. Left side ball out to the left side, but it's a miss by Eloise Ross Tremblay. Puts her cross wing just a little bit too wide, and the GGs open the second set with the first point. Maxime Langevin, still the server for the GGs. Puts a flat float serve down the line. Middle ball, and there's a kill in the middle. It's number 14, Leonie Goupil for the Laval Rouge et Or. And a better start for Laval in this set. In the first set, the GGs got off to a four or five nothing lead before Laval got on the board. Head coach Olivier Fauché of the Rouge et Or will be pleased to see his team get on the board earlier in this one. And following her kill, it's Goupil on serve. Popped up by Lewis. ODG sets to Mikhail, gives a free ball over. High looping free ball. Couture goes to the right side for Raymond, and there's a huge kill from Justine Raymond. Elevated, had the cross shot, and made no mistake, buries it right into position number two. It's a great shot by Justine Raymond. Far and away, the leading kill hitter for the Rouge et Or, 141 on the season. Now another serve from Goupil, barely papers over the tape and some confusion between Hildebrand and Langevin following the pass from Lewis. And there's an unreturned serve from Leonie Goupil. Another serve from Goupil, this one long and out the back. Very few serving errors from either team in the first set, but the GGs will happily take that free point to cut the lead to within one. It's Audrey Odigi now to serve for the GGs. Michaela Jones, the libero, checking in for Bryn Lewis. Odigi serve, down the line on a good one. Contain sets out of system. Ross Tremblay tips over and deep, picked up by Odigi. Great ball to Langevin. Swing from McKay, but goes just long, but block touches. Kill from McKay there, off the hands of the middle. That was Beatrice Lamarche, and out. The GGs tie up the second set at three apiece. And here's another serve from Odigi. This one long, just out the back. Some talking between, looks like it was uh, number seven, Roxane Saint-Amand and the libero, Alexandre Cantin in the back row for Laval. Maybe a bit of a disagreement about whether that ball was in or out, but in the end it was out and it'll be a point to the Rouge et Or. Now serve from Raymond, and this one goes long. Boy, commentators curse for sure on this one after saying, well, we didn't see too many missed serves in the first set. The two teams have combined to miss three out of the last four. Now with Janae McKay to serve for the Gigi, she looked to break that trend. Float from McKay, and this one's in. Popped up. Couture goes to the C ball. Dig by Langevin. McKay sets McHale. Dug by Quentin. Long run for Couture. Forced to give a free ball over Arde Rouge et Mikhail to Langevin. She goes to Liang in the middle. Her swing just wide. Good job by the GGs there. Looking to run some middle on the free ball. Typically their most efficient hitting option. But slight miss there by Liang. And it'll be a point to the Rouge et as Eloise Ross Tremblay will step back to serve. Serve from Ross Tremblay. Overpass by Odigi. Quentin to Couture. Looks to dump it over and does. Gets the kill. Full swing it was. Not even a dump. Liang unable to block that. Waterfalls down her arms onto their own side. Another point for Laval.
Ross Tremblay with another serve, and this one into the net. Boy, the missed serves sure are piling up here for both teams in the second. Neither coach would be too happy about that, especially with the float serves. Now it's Nicole Hildebrand back to serve for the G's. Her float serve, this one into the net as well. And now 7-5, the lead for Laval. And I believe that's five out of seven points or something like it that have been serves missed. The setter, Marie-Justine Couture, now back to serve for the Rouge Or. Her float serve in, popped up ODG. Langevin to the left side for Mikhail. Big swing, dug up, and a friendly bounce here at the Montpetit Gym. The dig from the Rouge Or goes into the ceiling following the swing by Mikhail, and that'll be a kill on the score sheet for her. Now following her kill, Grace Mikhail will get to serve. Puts a good float in. Couture to the left side for saint Amand, Dug up by Mikhail. Langevin to Odigi on the left. Rolls it over, gets a friendly bounce off the tape. Just rolls over. Cuts across just enough that Alexandre Cantin in the back row can't get there. And the Gigi's have tied up the second set thanks to kills from Mikhail and Odigi. Now another serve from the left side, Grace Mikhail. Float just over, papers off the tape. Couture goes reverse the flow. Liang, Langevin, left side ball, ODG. Big swing from ODG, and there's a kill from Audrey ODG. Justin Couture in the back row, unable to get that up. And it's a kill from Audrey ODG. Now a kill with another. This one, no friendly bounce into the net. And that'll tie up the second set back at eight apiece. Marie-Justine Couture to serve for the Rouge Or. Her float, passed low by Jones, and there's an ace for the setter, Marie-Justine Couture. Gigi's unable to pop that one up, standing a little bit too deep for that short float serve. And the Val Setter tricked them all. Now the G's smartly moving their passing line up. ODG Mikhail Jones ready for this one. And there's a higher pass from Mikhail. Langevin bumps that out to ODG. Rips the ball. Good dig by Ross Tremblay. Justine Couture. Gigi somehow managed to get that one back over. It's a free ball given over by Langevin. Now Justine Raymond dug by Hildebrand. ODG another swing, but a huge block on the right side. Justine Raymond punishing the mistake by the GGs on the pass. Double block between her and Goupil. Too much for Odigi there and a huge stuff by the Rouge Or block. Marie Justine Couture, another serve now. High and deep float, high pass. Langevin runs a slide for Leon, tipped over. But a net touch on the Rouge Or, that was number seven. Roxanne saint amand on the net, says the down official. And that'll be a point to the GGs. Leong following her shot will go back to serve with the GGs trailing by a score of 10-9 midway through the second set. Leong, her serve, floats deep. That'll be a point to the Rouge Or. Jones will check back in for Leong as it'll be Roxanne saint amand the left side, to serve for the Laval Rouge Or. Quite a different set this one has been than the first. First set, both teams had some long runs of multiple points in a row. This time it's been a lot more back and forth, one point at a time. Right side ball for Raymond. Hildebrand managed to get a piece, but another kill from Justine Raymond adds to her team lead. Such a huge advantage to have that right side swing in the front row, especially one as big as Raymond. Really gives the setter options, really forces that middle to Stay neutral, can't commit to the left side too early like you want to when it's a bad pass. And now a roll shot from Raymond. And another kill from the right side. This time some confusion between Mikhail and Hildebrand, both coming together, both thought they had that ball. And as Laval opens up a 13 to nine lead, their biggest of the set, head coach Lionel Woods of the GGs calls timeout.
Server for the Rougiors, number seven, Roxane Saint Amand. Starts the serving run with dump over from the GGs, and now a kill on the left side there from number four, Eloise Ross Tremblay. Off the hands of the block, touched by Langevin and out the back. And now a five point lead for the Rougiors, their biggest of the set and of the match. Biggest difference for the G's in the first set was their blocking. Bunch of huge stuff blocks to start the set. Kind of put some fear into the Rouge et Or swingers, but as of late, they are ripping these balls and GG's have no answer for it. That was a kill in the middle from Leonie Goupil. And Laval extends their lead. This set was tied 9-9 and the G's even had a lead at 8-7. Big run here from Laval. But good way to stop it is a missed serve and the GG's will gladly take that one as they cut the lead back down to five. It's one of their best servers, Maxime Langevin, going back to the line. The float from Langevin. Tight pass. Rougel just managed to get that one over. Now a left side swing from Hildebrand, tipped over, picked up by Ross Tremblay. Couture sets saint in the back row. Langevin dig, Lewis out of system set. Odigi rips a right side ball, touched in the back by saint amand but a kill from Odigi. Good effort from Roxanne saint amand to even get a hand on that ball, but the swing from Odigi just too powerful for her to pick up. And now the G's looking for a little run of their own. Maxime Langevin is still the server, but have to wait a little bit as Janine McKay finishes tying her shoe. And now Langevin serve. High pass. Couture sets the right side and Raymond. Picked up in the middle. Mikhail sets Hildebrand out of system. Quentin to Couture. Pipe swing from saint Amand, And a kill from saint Amand just out of the reach of Grace Mikhail. Tough play there on those pipe swings. Left side trying to stay neutral, but also trying to commit around that block from the middle. Overall, good job by the GG's defense, but a better swing by saint Amand to find that perfect spot. Now Goupil to serve for Laval. Her float serve, great pass by Lewis. Langevin goes right side for ODG. Her swing just long, no block touch. Point to the Rouge et Or. It's a right idea by Maxime Langevin. With that pass bringing her a little bit backwards. Set in the right side and ODG, one of her most consistent hitters, just made an error but as Lavat extends their lead back to six points, Lionel Woods calls a second and final timeout of the second set. GG's won the first set of this match by a score of 25-19, but now find themselves trailing in the second by a score of 17-11. Following a two-point run by the G's, Laval scored two points of their own, prompting a timeout from Lionel Woods, and now it's Leonie Goupil, the middle, to serve for Laval. High pass by ODG. Langevin goes to the left side for Hildebrand. Big swing by Hildebrand, but a huge block on the right side by Justine Raymond. Puts it straight down unable to cover were the G's, and that's another point for the Rouge et Or. Now a substitution for the GG's, it'll be number three, Cameron Giddens, coming in to play left side for Nicole Hildebrand. Hildebrand is a right side, but in this rotation with the setter and one for the GG's, they have their right side, Audrey Odigi hitting right side, and their standard right side, Nicole Hildebrand hitting left side. Good change by Lionel Woods getting Cameron Giddens in there, who is a left side. Feels maybe a little bit more comfortable with some of these shots. But Langevin goes to the right side for Odigi. 
big swing out the back. G's asking for a block touch, but won't get the call, and Laval leads by a score of 19 to 11. Another serve from Goupil here, her fifth in a row. Passed off by McHale. Good out of system set by Lewis, but a little bit inside. McKay gives a free ball over. Left side ball to Ross Tremblay and a kill on the left side from Eloise Ross Tremblay. Finds hands on the block, goes out the back. Great shot by the outside there. And Laval fully in control of this second set, up 20 to 11. Gigi's making another substitution as it's Danae Bristow checking in for Grace McHale. This time it's left side coming in for left side. Bristow, the second year, comes into this game second on the team in kills with 77. Looking to make a, an offensive presence here, maybe get some passing as well. They go out, Lewis on the serve, great pass. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay, and what a swing! Bounce there in the middle by Janae McKay. No answer from the Laval block. And the GGs get one back. Audrey Odigi now the server for the Gs. Looking to get them back into this second set. Great float, tight pass. Bristow puts it over, but well dug by Couture. Now a right side swing from Raymond. Can't get it over, and that's a point for the Gigi's. Smart shot, that by, smart shot there by Bristow following the overpass, trying to put that shot straight down with two hands. Kind of like a block, but great dig by the Laval setter. Geez, did end up winning the point. Another serve from Odigi. This time drops it short, forces the overpass, and it goes wide. Good tracking by Langevin and Odigi there, communicating, letting each other know that ball's out. And the Gigi's now trailing by just six, 20 to 14. Float from Odigi, this time goes deeper. Another tight pass, overpass, Bristow to Langevin, to McKay in the middle, tipped over. Right side swing here from Raymond, and a dig by Langevin, tight pass. Bit of a joust in the middle there, but it was the middle, Alexandrine Leroy Odzi putting it away with a strong kill. Good effort by McKay to put hands up there, maybe try to get a block, but unable to do so, and now some substitutions, looks like a double sub from the Rouge Or as they lead 21-14. Bélanger Griffith comes into set, and it'll be Bourgeois d'Aigle coming in to play right side. Double subs, fairly a common occurrence in volleyball, especially towards the end of the set. Want to keep that setter in the back row and have a right side hitting option in the front. And it works for the Laval Rouge Or on this first point as they force a hitting air out of Denis Bristow take an eight-point lead. Now another serve from Belanger Griffith. Goes deep, high pass Lewis. Langevin goes to the pipe for Odigi. Good swing. And a kill from Odigi. Belanger Griffith had the ball right at her, but just quite, couldn't quite corral the power of Odigi. Shanked the pass, and the Rouge unable to track it down. Point for you, Ottawa. Trailing by seven now are the GGs, and it'll be Janae McKay looking to make up the difference on serve. Float serve. Pass off the net. Belanger Griffiths goes to the right side for Raymond. Her swing, no block touch, goes long. And that'll be a point for the GGs as they cut the lead down to six. And now two substitutions coming for the GGs. It's number 11, Haven Fournier. Rookie left side checking in to serve for Janae McKay, and it's the middle, Danica Rabair checking in for Elena Leung in the front row. Smart substitutions by Lionel Woods, similar to what the Rougeur did in the first set, having a left side come in to play back row for the middle, but Fournier puts the serve in the net, and that'll be a 23 to 16 Rougeur lead now. Eloise Ross Tremblay, now the server for the Rouge Or. Her float, great pass by Lewis. Langevin goes to the middle for Robert. Good dig by Ross Tremblay in the back row. Now Bélanger Griffith sets the outside. 
Langevin to the left side for Bristow. Dug by Conte. Santa Senama. Great touch by Lewis. What a dig on the outside. Now a free ball given over by the GGs. Bilagi Griffith goes to the middle, and another great touch by Lewis. But this time it is a kill from Alexandrine Leroy Audzi in the middle. And that'll set up a set point for Laval as they lead 24 16. Valiant effort there by Gigi's libero, Bryn Lewis. A great touch on that first left side swing. Just unable to get that second one up off the middle swing. Pass by ODG. She'll get it back from Bristow, but has to give a free ball over. Now a middle ball for Leroy Audzi, and she will put away the second set. Kill there in the middle off the arms of Langevin in the back row and out. And that will do it for the second set. Laval takes it by a score of 25-16. And we will see you in a few minutes for the third set.
point for the GGs. And we are back here at uh, Montpetit Hall today where the GGs are facing the Rouge et Or de Laval. We have Maxime Langevin for the serve. Great set. And Laval hits the net. Points for the GGs. We're tied at two, going into the third set. <laughs> Maxime Langevin back for the serve. Great serve. Big block by Audrey. Uh, double touch, unfortunately. Points for Laval. Oh, wait, three, two. And we have number seven, Roxane Saint Amand, for the serve. And that is out. Point for the GGs. And we have Audrey Odidi. Great serve by Audrey. Oh yeah, great smash by the by Grace McHale. Points for the GGs. GGs trying to pick up some momentum here, but we can keep it going to win the second set. Audrey Odigi back for the serve. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Points, GGs. Audrey leading the way with 17 aces this season for the GGs. Let's see how she continues through the set. Ooh. Ooh. And that's out. Oh, no, ref deemed that it was touched by the GGs. Points for Laval. Number 14, Leonie Goupil for the serve. And right into the net, point GG's. Building up on this, li this lead. GG's trying to take control of the third set. And we have Janae McKay for the serve. Oh, big block. That's still in. Oh, ref deemed that it was out. Point for the Rouge et Or. Canon de Grace, retour pour les GGs. On va la voir. Alana. Fortunately, it's points for the Rouge et Or, but that was a great rally by DGs. We can see that they're trying to wake up and create some uh, momentum for themselves in this, um, this third set. Let's see how they continue. Number 11 for the serve. Mm, a little miss, miss time here. 
Laval takes the lead, 8-6. We still have Justine Raymond at the serve. She's a key player for the Rouge Arc. 141 kills this season so far. But the serve is too long. That's point for the GGs. Nicole Hildebrand for the serve. Big serve from Nicole. Oh, unfortunately, a little bit too far. Point Laval. Eloise was tremble au service. A little bit. Too short for Audrey Point Laval. Good save. Grace with this hit. The GGs are doing a great job digging. Big hit. Oh, that's in. Oh, the ref judged that it's out. Point for Laval. Laval is a very strong digging team, and you can see their efforts on the court. Still have number four at the serve. Ooh. Oh, great hit by Alana Long, number one, number seven. We needed that one. We can see the energy boosting at Montpetit Hall. And it's notable to state that this is the best start in years uh, for the GGs, and uh, they're carrying this momentum forward from a W after beating Sherbrooke. Number eight Sherbrooke, should I say. Great serve by Grace. And that's out. GD's point. 9-10 in the third third set here Tuesday at Montpetit Hall. Ooh, and an ace for Grace McHale. The GDs are back in the game. And you can see the bench. Jumping in excitement. The energy is, uh, is building here at Montpetit. Good serve. Oh. Unlucky here, point for Laval. And we have number eight, Alexandrine Leroy Audi. She's a key player for the Laval Rougeau, so let's see how she serves. Very good serve. Great return by the GGs. Ooh. by number six, Breen. Oh, and that's out. The GDs get the point after a hard fought rally. I feel like they needed this. Let's see if how they, they keep the intensity in the set. It's a great serve by Alana. That's out. 
Perfect. Point GG's. Here we go. They're putting the pressure on Laval, and we can see uh, it's paying off, and uh, they're taking the lead into this third set. Elena Long back at the serve. Ooh, great D. Oh, great save by Grace. Easy ball. G's are digging very well this set. Oh, now a little bit unfortunate over here. But you can see the intensity is picking up. And they're rallying together as a team. And that's what we like to see. Number three, at the net, it is Laval. And we have number three back at the serve, Marie-Justine Couture for Laval Rouge et Or. Reception by Grace. Ooh. Oh, unfortunate play by the GGs. Marie-Justine Couture, the retour au service. Great block. And a great hit by Audrey Odigi to give the GGs a little boost of energy. And we have Max Langevin going for the serve. Seven. Roxanne sent a au service. Great save by the GGs. Let's see if they keep the momentum going. Oh, big block. Oh, again. Yeah, yes, sir. Points for the GGs. The wall at the net. You shall not pass, they said. The GGs continue to climb back. And we have Audrey for the serve. Very great serve. Ooh! Odigi with a great hit from back row. Points GG's. The comeback is underway. 15-16. Let's see how we continue. And Laval answers right away with a hit of their own by number four, Eloise Ross Tremblay. And we have number of number nine, Beatrice Lamarche. Nicely received. The GG's hit. And you see Grace McKay. A soft hit, very nicely placed. The G's are back at it. Ooh, unfortunately, ball met at the net. You see Coach Woods giving instruction to his players to stay focused, to stay engaged, and I think he's gonna call a timeout. Timeout, GG's. At the third set, so we have Laval Rougeor leading 18 to 15, and we shall meet you after the break, folks.
And we're back, folks. Great serve by number nine, Beatrice Lamarche. But the deep, uh, unfortunately, the hit by Nicole is unfortunately too far, deemed by the judge. But the GGs continue. Let's see. Number nine, Beatrice Lamarche, again for the serve. Big dig by the G's. Ooh. Mm. And Laval squeaks one by the block. And once again, La Marche is in for the serve. The G's gonna have to receive well to stop this Laval attack. Grace dig, some help. Oh yeah, point by the GGs, thank you. And we're back, folks. And I feel the momentum shifting here at Montpetit Hall. Janae McKay going on for the serve, leading the comeback. Great serve by Janae. Oh, monster block by Nicole Heiderben. The GGs are coming back. You can feel the energy in the room, folks. And timeout by Laval. They want to cool down the momentum that the GGs are exerting. But we'll see each other after the time, folks. Thank you very much. We're back, folks. Jenny McKay had to serve. Great serve. Great reception by the G's. And the big hit by Nicole. Here we go, folks. I told you the momentum is shifting. The GGs are taking the lead. Well, not yet, but I can feel it coming. Janae is back at the serve. And point for the GDs again, folks. And it's important to note with McKay coming back from injury, you can already tell an immediate impact. And Laval calls a timeout again. You can see the GG's pressure is, uh, is working. Once again, folks, we'll catch up after the break.
And we're back, folks. Janae McKay with the serve. Let's see if she can keep the streak alive. Big block by number 11, Justine Raymond. And she is substituted. Number 12, number 14 coming out for number three. And we have Audrey Belanger Griffith. And that's in. Big hit by Audrey. Oh, diggy. And substitution number three for number 14 for the GGs. Cameron Giddens at their service. And great response by Laval. They bring the score to 22 20. It's number four from Laval, Eloise Rose Tremblay au service. Great reception from the G's. Crafty hit by Grace. And it worked. Points for the GGs. We're still in it, folks. And Grace McHale, four-year player, going for the serve. And Nicole comes back for Cameron. Serve. Ooh, crafty tip by number 15 that takes the GDs by surprise. Two new substitutions from Naval. Number 10 coming in for number 8 and number 14 for number 9. It's number 10, J Jad Maki at the serve. And a big hit, but the block goes wide for Audrey Odigi. And we have Alana Long at the serve for the G's. Great serve. Oh, big block from the G's. Oh. Ooh, and a bullet. Bullet by Audrey. That keeps that keeps the GGs in the game. And the atmosphere is just going wild at Montpetit Hall. Everybody's believing. Atlanta back at the serve. Oh, point for the G's. They crossed over the line by the ref. And the, the ref keeps his decision. 24-23, match point, uh, sets point on the line. A lot along for the serve. And thank you, Brendan. I'm trying my best for you. <laughs> oh. Great hit. The point is tense. The GGs are focused. Big hit. 
It's still going. And that's out. Set for the GGs. Montpetit Hall is fuming, folks. We can feel the energy. I hope you feel it at home. And the GGs take the second set, uh, the third set, to for the score of 2 1. And uh, we'll see you after the break. We're back for the fourth set, folks. Max Langevin for the serve. Ooh, great save. Ooh, still good. Big hit by Grace. And great composure for the GGs early on. Oh, unfortunately, in this hit there by Audrey. We have number 14 from the Rouge et Or, Leonie Goupil, for the serve. Tip, unfortunately, it worked. Oh, number 11 from Naval, Justine Raymond. She is the one to watch tonight, causing a lot of trouble to the GGs. And Groupil going back for the serve.
Good help defense. It's clear the Rouge all came out strong, swinging into the fourth set, trying to build their way back into this game. Groupil, back at the serve. Ooh, miss hit, but it's still good for the G's. A lot of composure, we love that. Oh, great dig. Ooh, unfortunate. And it's 4-0 for the Rouge R early in the sports set. Groupil still at the serve. Ooh. And that worked. Point for the G's. A little uncon unconventional, but as long as it hits the floor, we're good. And we have Audrey. Odigi at the serve for the G's. Great serve. Oh, big block. Again, the double whammy. Wow, Nicole Eidelbrand. What a revelation this season. Big block city are here. And the GG's building back the lead. Into the game, 2-4. Audrey for the serve. That went over. Oh, crafty tip. Oh, yes, Nicole again. Keeping the Laval defenders uh, on their skates, <laughs> slipping around. And the GG's building back into this fourth set. Serve by Audrey. Mm. Okay, good presence at the net, but unfortunately landed home. And we have number 11 from uh, the Rouge Or, Justine Raymond. Good save. Ooh, again, it's a block party around here. Nicole Heidelbrand said not over here. And we see a little handshake here between the setter and the blocker. I love the connection the GDs are making. And we have Janae McKay back at the serve. Woo! And it's the ace. Very nice. The energy is pumping. The bench is cheering. The fans ready to soar for us. I don't know what that means. Janae back at the line for the serve. Well tied in. Four, five points into four sets. Ooh. And that's out. Point for the GGs. And would GGs take the lead? In this fourth set for the first time. This time run here. And we're tied at six all into the fourth. Uh, number four for the Rouge Or, Eloise Ross Tremblay. Here we go, that's way better. Great hit by Alana. And the tip out. And it's point for the GGs. Nicole, Nicole Elobrand for the set, serve.
Ooh, master hit, but block at the line. Let's see. GG's follow up, still good. Great dig. Grace McKay with the boy blocked. Great rally on the way, folks. Did you stay composed? Very big hit. Uh, no. We're being treated today. Some great volleyball being played on Montpetit Hall. We tied at seven. to the net, number eight, for Laval Rougeau, Alexandrine Leroy Audi, malheureusement. And we have Grace McHale for the GGs, stepping up for the serve. Big block for the G's. Good help, D. They keep the ball alive. Ooh. Great hit by number 14, Leonie Goupy. The score is eight all. And we have number three, Marie-Justine Couture for Le Rouge Or. Great dig by Mikhail. Ooh, monster hit by Nicole. That gets the GGs the lead. Atlanta, Leon for the serve for the Gs. Big serve, unfortunately a little too strong. And that's an out. Number seven for Lavar, Roxanne Saint Amand. Very big. And a big hit by Audrey with the block tips it out. It's point for the G's. Eleven nine. We have a little lead building over here. Okay, too. And Maxime Langevin for the serve for the G's. Yes. Ooh. It's point for Laval. Big dig. And number f 14, Leonie Goupil, back at the... Ooh. Ooh, great hit by Janae McKay. The energy is picking up. We have Audrey back for the serve. Great serve by Odigi. Again, monster hit by Audrey. Gives the po point GG's. We're leading 
<laughs> Good save. Uh, unfortunately, too long. And we're tied at 12 here. And we have number 11, Justine Raymond, at the serve for the Rouge et Or. Great save again. Back to back. Well done by Grace McHale. Great response by the G's. And we have Janae McKay back at this the serve. Tied at 13 into the fourth set. Let's see how the GG's respond. Great serve. Still win. Big block again. Ooh, unlucky. But they're right there. They're right there. A little bit of a. Big hit by number 11 that keeps the Rouge Or's dream alive. And number four, Eloris was Trambé with a good serve, well received by the G's. Big hit. Oh, no, she opted for a tip. Good save by Audrey. The rally continue, folks. Let's see. Oh. Oh, great save. A lot of great defensive state here. GG's keep the ball alive. That's still in. Big block, still in. Oh, oof. unfortunate. A lot of great hustle on this play, but a little unfortunate. It seems like Coach Woods is calling for a timeout to, think th to talk things over. It's 16-13 into the fourth set. Big hit. Oh, and a big block by Grace McHale. Bring the intensity up for the G's. And Nicole Hildebrand for the serve.
Oh, great reception. Some help defense here. Keeping the ball alive. Oh. Little miscommunication there. And point for the Rougeau. Substitution for. No, it's number eight at the serve. Alexandrine Leroy Audi. Big hit by Lana Long. Here we go. That's why we want to see some. The middle seems the most uh, efficient point for the G's. Got to keep feeding. You have Grace McKill at the serve line. 15, 17 to the fourth set. Great serve by the G's. Oh. Woo. Monster hit. Oh, great recovery is still good. Oh, 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 oh. Opa. A lot of great effort from the Rougeur, but they couldn't keep this ball alive from Modigi. Points for the G's. Oh, I hope she's okay. I'd love to see the intensity and the hustle, but we gotta stay safe. She seems to be okay. Refs are not concerned. Oh. The Val coach calls for a timeout to talk things over in the 17-16s for the Rougeau, but the Gigi seems to be coming back up. Just, uh, we'll be back after the break, folks. We're back after the break. Grace McHale at the serve for the G's. Great serve. Ooh, and that's, oh! That was called, that was called out by the ref. Grace McHale back up the line for the serve. 17-17. Great serve. And this one's in by number seven. With Roxanne Saint-Amand putting in pressures to the G's. And we have Marie-Justine Couture going on for the serve. Oh, and it worked. Point for the G's. Strong hit by, by Long. That wiggled their way through for the point. And uh, 18 all. And we have number three, Ka Cameron Giddens, coming in for Alana Long. And she's going right for the serve. The G's is looking to take the lead into this fourth set. Nice serve. Good save, still alive. Mm, unfortunately, that was out. Mm. And number seven from Laval, Roxanne saint amand steps up for the serve. Big serve, well received by the Jews. Widogi for the hit, great hit. Oh, big block by McKay. And that's out. That's a GG's point right there. Great defense from the G's. Both at the reception and at the blocking line. And Maxime Langevin stepping up for the serve. 
We're all tied at 19 into the fourth set. Big serve by Langevin. Oh. And a big hit again by Nicole. Hildebrand back with a big kill. The GGs are taking the lead into this, this fourth set, looking to close it up at home on this Tuesday afternoon. Smooth serve by Langevin, well received by Laval. They keep it alive, and yes, unfortunately, the GGs cannot take it. And substitution for Laval, number nine for number 14. And Beatrice Lamarche to for the serve. Defense from the G's, keeping it alive. McKay, unfortunately, in the net. It's 21-20 for the Rouge Or. La Marche on the serve. Nice reception from the G's. Unfortunately, he gets punished at the line. And a timeout from Coach Woods to talk things through. And it's 22 20 in the fourth set. Right into the net for number nine. Beatrice Lamarche misses the serve, which is big for the GGs. 21-22, hoping to finish up the comeback. And we have Audrey Odigi for the serve. Great serve by Audrey. And unfortunately, the block is in the G's half. 23-21. Number 11 from the Rouge Or, Justine Raymond. She's been giving her lots of, lots of trouble today. Let's see how she deals with the serve. Good reception by the G's. Big hit by Grace. Unfortunately, it didn't cross the line. And we have Danae Bristol making her entrance to the set. And it's still Justine Raymond for the Rouge Or at the serve. Big hit by Nicole, which gets the point. We're still alive here, we're still alive. And Alana Long makes a return to the team and Jenny McKay for the serve. Big serve by Jenny. 
Oh, yeah. False rotation. It's point for the Gs. They stay alive. 23-24. And Janae McKay back for the serve. Important serve here for the Gs. Great receptions, keeping it alive. Odigi, big hit from the back row. Mm, still alive. Still alive. A lot of tension in the gym, and the Gigi's come up on top. 24-24, we're tied in their fourth set. And Laval is forced to call a timeout. Pressure's getting to them. Wow, wow, folks. What an afternoon in volleyball we have today at Montpetit Hall. 24 all. Janae McKay at the line for the Gs. Big serve. Great reception from the Gs. Big hit from Danae. Gigi stick the lead, 25-24. Match point on the line. Janae McKay stepping in for the serve. Big serve, well received. Oh, big block for the Gs. Again! Ah, uh, unfortunately the net and the gym keeps the game going. But we can see, you can hear the excitement into the gym. The fans are going crazy. We got number four from Laval, Eloise Rose Tremblay for the serve. Unfortunately, that was a tough reception for the G's. And Laval takes the lead 26-25. It's a nail biter. Number 18 coming in for number three from the Rouge Or. And big hit by Nicole Edelbrand. The GGs stay alive, 26 all into this fourth set. The tension is high. Number three for Laval comes back. And Nicole, Nicole Heidel, Heidelbrand from the GGs. With the serve, great serve. She's been very consistent with the serve today. Oh, unfortunately, big hit by the Rouge all trying to stay alive in this fourth set. We got a full rotation happening on the Rouge all. 14 for number nine and 10 for number eight. And we have number 10, Jad Marquis at the serve. The score is 27 26 for the Rouge all, trying to push for a fifth set. Reception by the G's. 
And unfortunately out, rattles out, and the Rougeur wins the fourth set, which takes us to the fifth set shortly, folks. Great afternoon of volleyball here at Mopiti Hall. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back, folks. Fifth and final set today at Montpetit Hall. The GGs first facing the Rouge Or from Laval. Two sets each. We have Grace McHale on the serve for the Gs. First to 15. Let's see how it plays. Big serve. Oh. Oh. Great hit by oh geez, the ball stays alive. And now right into the net. It didn't cross. Points for the G's. Strong start. We have Grace back at the line for the G's. Big serve. Oh, unfortunate tip. And the score is one to one. We can sense the tension into the gym. And this nail biter versus Laval and the G's. We have number 14, Leonie Goupil, at the line for the Rouge Or. Big hit by number eight, Alexandrine Leroy Audi, right down the middle. We got Goupil back at the line for the serve. Great reception by the G's. Audi with the hit. 
Strong block at the line. Levi keeps it. Ooh. Uh, Leval gets lucky. The roll of the ball on the net. The score is 3 to 1. Goupil back at the line. We're going to need a little wake up from the G's. Oof. Great help defense. GG's keep it alive. Oh. That works for Laval. Wudogi with the hit. But the block is inside, unfortunately. 4-1 for the Rouge Or. They seems to take the lead, but I wouldn't count the GG's out. Goupil de retour au service. Udogi again. The ball keeps going. Still alive. A oh, little tip from Nicole. Oh, there we got. Here we go. Momentum shift for the G's. That's what we needed. We have a Atlanta Long for the serve. Big serve by Alana. Oh, and that worked from the Cole. Here we go. The GG's finding the momentum, picking up points, staying consistent. Great serve by Long. And that's out. The G is still alive. Here we go. We're tied at f what? And it was touched by the ref. Well, no, the ref uh, informed us that it was touched. Point for the Rouge Or, 5 3. And we have number 11 from the Rouge Or, Justine Raymond. Nicely received by the G's. Strong hit by Udogi, but the block is out. Mm. The G is staying alive. We have Maxime Langevin for the serve. Great serve. Oh, big block by Nicole and McKay. Well done. The G's tied back up to five. The intensity, we feel it. Maxime, the retour au service. Great serve. Still alive. Still alive for the G's. Ooh, good idea, but a little bit short for Idelbrand. And uh, Rouge all takes the lead. Well, they keep the lead, six to five, 12. Great hit from McKay, that worked. Through the defense of Laval for a loop, and the GG is tied up, 6 all. And we have Audrey Odigi at the line. Great serve for Odigi. Ooh, master hit for number eight, Alexandrine Leroy Audi. Which is being served on for number 10. Which runs right to the line. It's Jad Maki for the serve for the Rouge Or. Big hit by Janae. 
Exactly what the doctor ordered for the G's. They tie it back to seven. It's a nail biter here today. McKay for the serve. First mid serve for the G's today. And we switch sides with Laval leading eight to seven. We'll see you after. We're back here, folks. Number three with the serve. Great reception from the G's. Big hit by Nicole. Still alive. Great reception from the G's. Keep it alive. Ooh, and the tip from Atlanta. Seals the deals. 8-8. Eight, eight. We're still alive. We have Nicole Eidelbrand on the serve. I think we'll go right down to the wire today, folks. Great serve. Great reception. Gigi's keep it alive. Grace McKill. Oh, and big block by number 11. Rouget all takes the lead, 9 to 8. And we have number seven, Roxanne Saint Amand for the serve. The reception from the G's, a line up for the hit. Big block, the ball's alive, keep it. One more hit, oh, good fight. There we go, big hit today. Ooh, monster hit by Audrey Odigi. Asking some questions about the rotations, making sure they're all set. It's the GG serve, Grace McHale. We're tied nine all, folks. First to 15. Great serve by McHale. Ooh, that didn't cross, but the ref keeps it alive. The GGs are, are defending very well. Good hit. Big block city. Audrey Odigi again. It's a block party here at Mopiti Hall. And the GGs take the lead with this block. And we have Grace McHale stepping up at the line for the serve. Unfortunately, right into the net. We're tied at 10. Number eight subbing in for number 10. And number nine subbing for number 14 for Laval. And it's Beatrice Lamarche stepping up for the serve. And the trick play by Maxime Langevin trying to ignite some energy into the G's. We love to see it. 11-10 for the G's. Trying to seal the deal tonight. We have Elena Long for the serve. Big serve by Elena.
Unfortunately, the GGs fall short. We're tied at 11. A nail biter today. See a lot of fans into, into the gym today, even though it's a Tuesday. Some of you have classes. If you're following at home, we're grateful. Let's keep the GG spirit going. Cheer even from afar. Tag us on our social media. Make sure you follow us to stay up to date. We have number 11, Justine Raymond for Rougeard. Ooh, and a monster hit from Audrey. Oh, Diggy. And Gigi's take the lead, 12-11. And Maxime Langevin at the line for the serve for the Gs. Great serve, keep it alive. And that's out. 14-11 for the Gs. Laval is forced to call for a timeout to keep their game going. And we're back after the timeout. Great talking points from Coach Woods, trying to ignite the team to finish strong. We have Max Langevin at the line for the serve. Oh, it's 13-11 from the Gs. Big serve. Oh, ho, ho, what a block by Nicole Hedelbrand. The Gigi's are ready to rumble. It seems like we're closing the deal right now. The bench going well, the fans are on their feet. Everybody's cheering. Let's see how we close out this set. Max Langevin back for the match point. Save. We're still alive here. Ooh, unfortunately, right into the net. It's okay, 14-12. We're still in it. All we need is one stop. One stop. And we have number four for the Rouge et Or, Eloise Rostremblay, for the serve. Good reception by the Gs. A diggy for the hit. Good reception. So, oh, great effort by the Gs, but they're falling a little bit short. The score is 14-13. Laval knocking at the door, but Coach, Coach Wood is calling a timeout to reassess the situation. And we're back, folks. The score is 14-13 for the Gs. We have number four for the Rouge et All for the serve, trying to make a comeback into the late hours of the game. Good 
after a reception from the G's. Woo! And it's the game winner by Audrey ODG. The GDs well fought battle. We get the W here on this Tuesday afternoon against the Laval Rouge et Or. Great team effort today, the great hustle all around, and we're really proud of our GGs, and I hope we keep this streak going. Folks, for everybody at home, thank you so much for listening, and we hope to see you very soon at Montpetit Hall to support our GGs women's volleyball team. Thank you very much.